This weekend, Let Us Breathe Abilene hosting a three-day Juneteenth celebration at Stevenson Park. So here to tell us just what they have lined up for this year, Shante Fleming and Darla Mays. Welcome, ladies. Glad to have you here today. Our second year of it being a national holiday. Who's excited? <laughs> we are <laughs> very excited. <laughs> Any reason to have a celebration? The fact that we get to, this is actually now finally, finally considered a national holiday. This is really a, a great celebration. And every year it seems like we, you plan bigger and you have more opportunity. And you all have turned Juneteenth into a three-day celebration this year in Abilene. <laughs> Thank you. She does nothing small, in case you don't know who Shante <laughs> Fleming is. And we love that about you, ladies. So what all we have planned, we're starting on Friday, and this is really a community mm -hmm. effort. I mean, although we talk about Juneteenth and the emancipation of slaves in Texas, you know, so it's, it's part of our history, it's part of our heritage, but this is really a coming together of everyone. We want everyone in the community to be part of it, regardless of who you are, your color, your background, your history. This is for everyone to be involved. Mm -hmm. Right. So we know that Juneteenth, um, the whole history, we want to make sure that this year that we focus on bringing everyone together. Um, that was our biggest mission for this year mm -hmm. was trying to make sure that we bring in the whole city. Sure. So our focus was geared to we want to focus on community. So bringing in everyone, trying to unite the whole city to come out and to support us and to um, learn about Juneteenth, learn about Texas history and to just celebrate this wonderful th three, day, three day weekend and enjoy some good food and some fun sports and um, but what else is a it beautifully that we have? renovated uh, Stevenson Park uh, too? Oh my God! Yes. What you all have accomplished in the last year is pretty incredible. You've made a lot of changes to Stevenson Park. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've had the help of Parks and Recs and the city. I mean, this is really a team effort here. We could not have done this without right. the city um, and all of the people that has actually like stepped up. To, to, to like make this happen. Um, the Excelsior Foundation, U United Way, uh, local businesses. Um, oh man, it's so let many people. Breathe. And <laughs> let us breathe. I mean, we, we like MVM. came in M MVM with these nice shirts that they had uh, made for us and they've been helping us um, sell them because we're trying to do a Juneteenth fund so we can have things that we know that our park still needs more outlets. Uh, we know that we still need some things in there and even though that this is our phase one, uh, we still have a lot of work to do. But we are so excited about all of the, the great things that so far that, that we've gotten done. So we want to encourage everybody to come out and see all of the nice things that they've I added. love this. We've got some of the footage here uh, and a recognizable face as well. Talking. <laughs> so uh, when we talk about Stevenson Park, you know, you've redone a lot of the, the courts you can see them there. You've added lights out there. It, it really gives the kids an opportunity to get out and to, you know, big kids and have a place that's safe um, and available to them even in the dark when it's finally cooled off at nighttime. They can get out there and they can take part in, in activities together that's, that's safe, it's a balanced, and it's, it's an embracing community area that's good for them to be involved with. When we talk about um, the three-day celebration, though, Friday you've got welcoming, you've got kickball games, fish fries, and live music. That's all at Stevenson Park starting on set, uh, Friday evening at 6 o'clock, so we want people to come out. And then Saturday, the Freedom Festival with the actual parade that morning starting at, at the convention center welcoming by the mayor and by our chief of police and then all day long you've got different things from fashion shows to basketball hoops to more cookouts and more good music yes. and it continues all the way through Sunday I love that you all do this we talk about Juneteenth and as you learn the history of it you understand the division the division in the nation it was two and a half years talk about division not knowing what the, the, that individuals were had been freed oh, right. and yes. so we want everyone to be involved no more divisiveness let's all no come more. together absolutely exactly. let's all like like let's <laughs> bring the whole city together. Mm -hmm. I love this. Okay, you guys come out. It's this weekend. Juneteenth is technically on Sunday the 19th, but we're starting it on Friday the 17th. Three days of celebrating the Freedom Festival at Stevenson Park, June 17th through the 19th. The full schedule of events includes a lot of things and a lot of links to where you can learn more. You can actually check all of this out though on our website, bigcountryhomepage.com. Come be a part of the solution. Be a part of the community.